Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. I did take a short break. However, I will be back now with longer videos. And thank you to everybody that has been watching my food shorts. Please subscribe and check them out. Now, let's just get into this complete hot mess. Um, this is breaking news today, and honestly, it is very shocking. Um, this um, definitely took social media by storm as Hollywood Unlocked exclusively first reported this, and TMZ has the video. I will not be putting the video on my channel because TMZ loves to strike people. However, I'm going to describe to you guys what happened. So, people are coming out with videos that alleges that Chris Brown put his paws on Usher during a birthday party for Chris Brown, whom turned 34, at a skating party that Usher put together for him as a surprise. Now, I'm reading various reports of what happened, so I'm just going to tell you guys what everybody basically agreed on. So, they're basically saying that Tiana Taylor, who is married to, um, what is his name, Umar um, Iman Shepard, got into a very heated argument um, where Chris Brown was calling her all kind of B-words, cursing at her, making angry gestures toward her, and then this is when Usher actually stepped in to try to um, intervene in the situation. And it seemed like, according to reports, that Usher, Tiana Taylor, as well as Chris Brown, they continue to, t to argue. However, Chris Brown's anger slowly toward, slowly went toward Usher. Um, now, this is where it gets even more interesting, you guys. So, apparently, um, Chris Brown left soon afterwards. Usher took off his skates and followed after him, I guess, to continue the discussion or just basically trying to diffuse it. Now, nobody is actually saying what he and Tiana Taylor what was actually arguing about as nobody from the three camps has actually come out to physically make a statement, a statement to even comment on the situation. So Usher followed him out of the birthday party. Usher, I guess, got toward his buses and was getting ready to leave. Witnesses are saying that um, Usher came around to the back of the buses, and this is where the Paul Paw incident happened. And they are saying that Chris Brown, as well as his security team, jumped on Usher. He was later seen with a bloody nose. This is according to reports. Um, there is no report that any of them had to go to the hospital. There are um, no police reports either stemming from this incident. And again, as of right now of the making of this video, all three camps are keeping hush-hush about the situation. What adds to this craziness is that Chris Brown and Usher are supposed to perform tonight in Vegas. <laughs> at, I believe, Usher's um, residency, um, you know. So, again, this is a hot mess. Some people are coming after Tiana Taylor for, you know, you guys remember when Chris Brown and Rihanna had their situation back in 2008, 2009. People are actually pulling up Tiana Taylor's past tweets, basically coming after Rihanna, and now they're saying that karma has been served to her. I am going to give my comments on this situation, and you guys can definitely leave a comment below about this. First of all, I'm going to say that, you know, nobody deserves karma, okay, in this situation. Um, I do feel that Chris Brown should have definitely um, did his, do his best to walk away, which uh, it seemed like he was trying to do, and then Usher came back. Um, this whole situation, just another bad look for Chris Brown, as a lot of people on social media are taking Usher side as well as Tiana Taylor. Um, Chris Brown seems to have altercation after altercation 
every few months or so, which is very tragic. He is a very uh, talented singer, dancer, and performer. And it's just really crazy that he just cannot control himself or his temper. I'm also wondering why Usher did not have his private security um, with him. I found that to be a little um, eyebrow-raising. And, you know, I know that this is probably like a little sad note, but where was Tiana Taylor's husband? Um, you know, I don't know if it was just her trying to kick it with them because they're friends or whatnot. Um, and it did seem like the party was going smoothly up until this incident. But, again, to each his own, you know, and I am sure that more information concerning this will come out. Um, again, no word yet on if Chris Brown and Usher will be performing together tonight. I'm sure a lot of people will be watching to see if they do. A lot of people are also concerned about the state of Usher's face and body. People are actually saying that they don't think it was just a nosebleed, but the nosebleed was the only thing, you know, obviously that people could physically see. There's no word on how harmed um, Usher was in this situation. Um, me personally, um, it just seemed like, again, Chris Brown is always finding himself getting into various situations. And this whole thing is just a very poor look on him. And like I said, um, I am going to continue to report this as more information come out. Um, and we also all want to know what really happened with that argument that they were having. It did seem like when you watch the video, and again, I'm not going to post it on here, Chris Brown was definitely uh, using profanity at Usher at that point when Usher pulled um, Chris Brown away from Tiana Taylor. He was definitely saying, F this, F you, um, basically, you know, looking real heated and upset. But again, uh, Chris Brown just seemed to just, you know, he just can't control himself. Um, and I'm very happy that uh, Usher stuck up for Tiana Taylor. Um, I know a lot of times more women always wish for men to be present and intervening. Uh, there's no telling what point that situation could have actually escalated to. So, again, this actually could have gotten a lot messier if Usher was not there to intervene in this situation as it seemed like people were more um, recluse to pull out their phones and take video versus trying to defuse the situation and make sure that Tiana Taylor, again, got out of that safely. Um, but like I said, this whole thing is a complete mess. And for people to bring up those old tweets about Tiana Taylor, I do believe she is a different grown woman from back then. And I definitely do not believe that Tiana Taylor would type those things now. And calling this an uh, act of karma is very pitiful in this particular situation. As, you know, sometimes it takes people time to mature and grow. And we really don't know what actually started or escalated this situation. All we know is that they was arguing and pawpaws were definitely thrown. Thank goodness we're not reporting reporting on a worse story right now because this actually could have turned out, you know, worse than what is being reported now. So I'm just going to, you know, be thankful on that note. Whatever this beef is that accrued that night, um, I'm sure that we will definitely hear more information as this information trickles out. I will definitely come back and update this um, situation. Do you think that Chris Brown will finally be blackballed after this? Or do you think that the radio will still be playing his music and his videos will still be put up in rotation on YouTube? And what do you guys think? Is this finally career ending for Chris Brown? Or do you think, again, people will ignore this um, situation involving his temper once again? So tell me what you guys think below in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, be safe and enjoy your day. Bye, guys.